Hey ladies, so this is part two of my hair going on with these um, products here from, from Pretty Kinky Natural Hair. And I've been thinking about, I think I've been saying it wrong. I'm saying it how her Instagram is, but it's Pretty Kinky Naturals. So just so you guys know the name of the actual company. But I'm going court to her Instagram because I do um, follow her on Instagram and I do see her stuff pop up a lot. So that's what, that's what's stuck in my head. So, what I'm going to do where I left off in my last video, I pretty much, I shampooed my hair with the moisturizing um, shampoo. I did a deep treatment with the um, avocado deep conditioning mask. It's a different name for it, but since it has um, pure avocado in it, I'm just referring to that. I don't have it in here with me now, because what I did was, I put it in the refrigerator. I wanted to keep it um, nice and fresh, because avocado is in it, and... The product does set up, I have to use my finger and kind of like mix it up. And I did ask, was it okay? You know, she said you could put it in the refrigerator to keep it. She said it won't go bad if it's out, but you could definitely put it in the refrigerator because it's definitely pure um, avocado. So I put the um, little jar in the Ziploc bag and sat it in the door of my refrigerator. So to keep it nice and fresh. I have, nothing, I have no problem with doing stuff like that. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to be using... The Revitalizing um, Daily Spritz. I'm going to use this on my day two as well, just so you will know. I'm going to use it to detangle my hair, which is not really tangled, but just to kind of, you know, give it like a leave-in. Then I'm going to be using this twisting cream right here. But first, I'm going to start with the oil. This is the Rosemary Plus Growth Oil. And I'm excited about this because, as you know, like I have some... Um, weak spots in here that broke off due to me wearing my hair in high puffs so ladies definitely be careful when you wear your high puffs trying to use a headband that's really tight because it can definitely cause some breakage and i definitely experienced it so i'm just going to take this oil and i'm just going to run it through my scalp okay i'm definitely going to get to these areas and when i finish um putting this through my scalp I don't smell anything as of yet. I did not smell it, but I'm going to smell it in a in a few. I love oils. Like I, essential oils is the best. Okay. Okay. Now you definitely smell the rosemary. And let's see here. Castor oil, argan, argan oil, or the argan oil. Heap seed oil, aloe vera abstract. The list goes on. It says shake well, apply to scalp, massage. Three to three, two to three minutes nightly to increase blood circulation, stimulate growth, decrease thinning, eliminates dandruff and flaking. I think I'm gonna get an extra bottle because I'm gonna give it to my daughter because while she's in college, she can be putting this on her scalp because she suffers from dandruff. But she doesn't like oils in her head. So. I'm going to massage through my scalp. And it smells good. It smells like rosemary, of course. As you guys see, I'm very, very rough. Okay. Okay. So that is that. And I'm going to spray this on my hair and I'm going to detangle and put my hair in sections because I'm going to do part three, which will be me actually twisting my hair with this because I don't want to make the video too long. I just want to show you guys how I'm going to detangle my hair. I'm going to use a wide tooth comb and you guys know, let me show you my favorite comb that you see in every video, which is this, which is really, really bad. But um, I'm going to use this and I'm going to do my part on the sides. I'm thinking how I want to wear my hair tomorrow I have to go out tomorrow and start my Thanksgiving shopping we gotta get the food ready and things like that cause my daughter's coming home from college and I gotta send her home send her back to school rather with um groceries and things like that cause she does live in an apartment versus living on campus so yeah I'm just gonna section off my hair because my hair is, you know, it's not that long and it's, it's thick, so. Okay, so I had to kind of reposition here. 
so I'm not sure how I'm going to do the back. I just want to section off my, my hair is drying, but I just want to section off my hair before I start with my hair. Because I want to show you how it detangles, because even though my hair, I can put my fingers through it, I cannot comf comfortably, comf I can't even get it out, put the comb through my hair. So, I'm going to take the spray. Let's see how it smells. I didn't smell it. It smells like citrus. And it's just um, creamy. Creamy white color. So, I'm going to shake it up. safety lock <laughs> okay I like the pump it's like a nice mist that's probably way too much but okay feels good going on back there <laughs> okay it's definitely going through nice and soft you probably can hear my hair okay so okay so I don't have any more I'm using my little my youngest daughter, when I do ponytails in her hair, I use these. So it doesn't pop her hair, anything like that. So, I'm just section my hair off. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to spray my hair. And you know what? I'll keep this all one video. I'm going to spray each section, and I'm going to twist each section. So it's like I'm, you know, I'll be sealing it with the with the um, honey shea twist and curl cream, okay? And you'll get to see how that looks. So I'll start now. So that's what I'm gonna actually do. And you know I'm not gonna let you guys sit and watch me twist my hair because <laughs> I want to put fairly small twist in my hair this time because I want to see how this revitalizes my twist. So. I'm going to put fairly small twist. Not like what I normally do. Okay, so I'm going to take about this smell. And I'm going to get into the cream really quick. Okay. And I, I said to you before, I'm using what's on the top. This is, um... It's whipped, but again, when you when you put your finger through it, it has a lot of texture, nice and thick, just how I like it. So it can coat the hair. Okay, so I'm gonna start twisting my hair. My hair smells great. It it's, it feels like it just feels really really fresh. I'm looking in the mirror at myself because I. I mean, you can't tell because my hair looks a mess right now. It's just in, in, in little pigtails all over. But my hair actually just feels nice and clean. Like, just clean and fresh. And it's not... And I'm, so, I'm surprised because it's not what I'm actually used to. I'm used to, you know, lather, you know, thick conditioners. And everything that I've actually tried has been the total opposite. The... The shampoo didn't have any lather, but it still cleansed my hair, you know, it, it made it feel fresh. It did not feel like it had any buildup on it. It still felt like I put, you know, that shampoo-y, that soapy feel in my hair. And the deep conditioner wasn't thick. It was on the thinner side, but yet 
my hair still feels like it's been deep conditioned. So this here, and I use the oil as you know already, and I'm used to spray in this section. So let me begin twisting and then I'll let you know. Well, I'll do some more. I'll do one on the camera. I'm just running my mouth, right? Now you guys know I gotta grab my comb. I gotta just go through it just a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna take about that much. I'm gonna get the ends. I must say my hair is definitely growing. I'm kind of I'm I'm happy I did my second big chop because my first year I just thought I knew what I was doing. I'm approaching my two year. I'll be two years natural the day after Thanksgiving to be exact. So I'll be two years. Go Kelly. And um. But if I wouldn't have cut my if I wouldn't have cut my hair, my hair would have probably been so long because when I cut my hair, my hair was a little bit longer than this. So just imagine this length on top of the same length twice. It probably would have been down the down like my shoulders. But you know, this is what happens when you know you don't really t you think you know how you're taking care of your hair, but you're really not taking care of your hair. So. Those things happen, but now since I know what I can and cannot do to my hair, it works out. So this is very, very fluffy, very, very airy. It's like whipped mousse somewhat, you know. And I probably should make this section too. Cause I want my twists. Fairly small. I was thinking about trying mini twists. What you think? I'm not sure if I want to deal with that because my hair can mat really quick and I would be so upset if my hair mats. And I try to take it out. And the next thing you know, my hair is just super, super damaged and broke off because of those twists. So, as you see here, I didn't use the comb. Can you see that? I didn't use the comb to detangle the ends just to make sure. I just put a little extra product. And my hair is curling up. Huh. I'll probably put a little bit too much product on this piece of strand right here. I'm going to pretty much finish up my whole head. I'm going to do them small just like this all over. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I'm only going to Walmart. so This weekend it was pretty, pretty dry for me. I didn't do much of nothing. I just stayed in. Which, let me know what you did over the weekend. I'm just playing in my hair. And that's about it. I was thinking about putting my twist back in after Thanksgiving. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I don't know for sure. Okay. I clearly said I was going to take you guys off camera, but I thought I would want to talk. <laughs> but... I kind of want to focus on making sure I get these twists in. And if, oh, I know one thing. If you guys tried the mini twist, 
how long did you leave them in for? How did you care for them? What did you use? Because I'm scared. I'm going to So, I got one more row left for this particular section. So, I got to do this side. I'll break this in two. One, two, three. So, four, five sections I'm going to do. Put some twists in my head. I will see you back. And just to kind of give you, excuse me, a recap, I use the Rosemary Plus Growth Oil, Revitalizing Daily Spritz for my um, leave-in detangler, and this lovely Honey Shea Twist and Curl Cream. And I'm liking it so far. See what the results are. So I'll be right back with everything twist and we'll see how it looks. Okay. Okay, so I'm almost finished twisting. I did fairly small twists all over my head. And I will say that this twist and curl cream is really nice. Nice and soft and light. I haven't twisted my hair in so long. It feels almost funny twisting my hair. And I'm just taking a product, putting it down my hair, and I'm going to get a little bit more and put it on the end. And I'm probably using way too much, but I like to use, that's not even, I like to use a lot of product on my twists because I don't have any curl definition, so if I leave my hair twist, if I twist my hair with, and I use a product, let me say it right, if I use quite a bit of a product and I twist my hair, usually it gives me some definition. Now I remember why I started blow drying my hair, because when you twist your hair when it's wet, oh my god, it's like such a hassle. But I must say, I do like the way my hair feels. My hair just feels really fresh and clean. And I'm I'm still amazed because it was no lather in it. And my even the deep condition was kind of thin. But um I tell you this right here, this revitalizing daily spritz, I like it. It's you can smell the, the lemongrass. I, was, it smelled, I said it smelled citrusy. I had to read some more while I was twisting my hair. Like I stopped and said, my bathroom smells like lemongrass. I said, it smells like lemon. But, um, yeah, so everything's twisted. I'm going to turn around for you. Just mini twists all over. It's probably not neat back there. But it's okay. And that's about it. I used quite, I didn't use that much. I have hair in here. You know how when you do your hair, you see little hairs? So I, did, I just used about right up in here. So I still have quite a bit left. It smells really good. And it has a lot of sheen in it. It's like, like it's raw cocoa butter. It's a lot of sheen. My hands are super shiny. Not greasy, but you know. You know how shea butter is. So I'm pretty much done. I'm going to let my hair air dry. Um, it's still fairly early. I don't know. My phone is not in here. Again, it's Saturday. I'm just chilling out. I'm going to have me a glass of wine, relax, let it air dry, I'll put my satin bonnet on. And then tomorrow, I'm going to get all jazzy so I can go to Walmart. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Hey, ladies. Yes, so I am back. Uh, excuse me. All of this for Walmart. Yes, all of this for Walmart. So, let's take it off. So I will say that my hair is still nice and shiny, still moisturized. I'm not going to put any oil on my hair. Normally I would put some oil in my hand and I would rub it around and I would put it on my head, on my hair, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. That's those. So I hope you guys are seeing how the twists are coming up. They're very, very defined. I'm very, very happy. I'm trying to take them out from the root and then pull them out.
there's no um like white residue or nothing like that it's really nice my cur my twists are super defined and i'm not gonna pause it so i'm just gonna let you guys see me take them out So, um, who's cooking? Who's cooking for Thanksgiving? I'm not cooking. I'm going to, I'm cooking a dish and I'm taking it to my aunt's house, but I'm going to, um, cook on Christmas. But Thanksgiving we're going to my family's house. And that is about it. So I'm just going to go get the stuff that I need to make my particular dish on Thanksgiving. And that is it. And a couple of, you know, other items and things like that. And then my daughter's coming home on Tuesday, so I'm going to go buy her some food. I'll probably buy her stuff on Tuesday. But just some other little, you know, little odds and ends that she could take back to school with her and stuff like that. I must say, my curls are defined. I am. I hope I'm getting them all out. Cause I put so many in because I really wanted to have a really defined twist out. And I'm not too sure how I'm going to style it. But I'm sure you guys can see this. How defined my twists are. Oh, and um, she's having um, Annette from Pretty Kinky Natural. She's having a Black Friday um, sale, fifty percent off. So you need to go check her out. I know she has this oil that I'm gonna go purchase because I'm impressed with the the rosemary. So I'm definitely gonna go take advantage of the fifty percent off myself. Okay. I'm just going to massage the scalp. I think I have them all out. Whatever I don't have, I'll, I'll go back and find later on. So I'm sure you can see how to find my twist off. I hope I wasn't too, 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 too close to the camera. I'm just going to separate some of them. And this is just so you can see exactly how I style my hair. And this can give you some ideas as well on how you can style your hair. So, and I'm taking them out softly because I don't want any frizzing. So, I'm going to get my pick and just go in with the root. find an extra twist that you didn't take out.
And as you see, the curls are the twist, the twist out is really, really tight. So you're going to get some good curl definition. So what I'm going to do, my hair smells so good. My air just came on. So the heat that's coming in, it just blew on my head. All I smell is like cocoa butter and, well, shea butter, whatever. And um, the lemongrass. Oh my God, it smells so good. And look at my hands. Talking about moisturizer. So I'm going to look in a different mirror just to kind of see from far. Okay, so you guys okay. are seeing what I'm seeing, and I like it. And I'm sure as the twists get older, they're going to get better because they're so tight. And it looks like this is my actual curl pattern. It looks really, really nice. And I don't have a curl pattern. So this looks, I mean, it really looks like this is how my hair would look if I had like a wash and go or something like that. That's how my hair looks. So I'm going to clean off myself. I'm going to show you the back. So this is how it looks. Very defined. I like it. So I'm going to come back with day two. So tonight, I'm not going to show you guys how I twist my hair. You know how I twist my hair. I'm just going to retwist. I'm not going to add any extra product on it. I'm going to section my hair in a little bit bigger um, sections, twist it up tonight, and then tomorrow you're going to see um, day two. And then I'm going to wrap it up and let you know my final thoughts on the actual product. So I want to say thank you to everyone who's watching. Thank you to Pretty Kinky Naturals. And don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later.